Caleb here from Tosa Tool. Today I want to talk about the Tosa Tool modular clamping kit. So I'll go through kind of an unboxing of it and then I'll talk about the individual components and then I'll build a setup. So when Dan was designing this set, he took all the best things of the clamp sets out there right now and put them into this clamping kit. So it'll come in a box like this. So let's see what's inside. <clears throat> so let's look at this bag first. So first we have four of the six and a half inch long clamps and four of the four and a half inch clamps. And then, so these, all these clamps are 4140 pre-hardened steel and there's a black oxide coat on here. And for the nuts, these also have a black oxide coat and first we have four extension nuts and I'll talk about all these a bit later and then we have four of the support feet and then we have six of the flange nuts and four of the guided clamp supports. <clears throat> so let's look in the box now. So, so these are all the studs. So there are six different sizes as you can see and each size there are four of. So they range from three inches to eight inches. So three, four, five, six, seven, and eight inches long. Right. And then finally for this last bag, so there are eight springs. So these keep the clamps up for the production runs when you need to switch out the workpiece really quickly um, if you're running a hundred of them. And these are made long so they're strong when they're compressed and you can grind these down if they are too long for your application. Next we have, we have eight jam nuts so you can use those for locking components into place on the table. And next, we have 16 washers. So these washers are for half 13 bolts and they're flat and they're pretty thick washers and as you can see they're gold colored so this means they're zinc plated grade 8 hardened steel so you're always going to want to use those washers in the slots when you're working with the slots so on the jam nuts or the the flange nuts and you're also going to use these washers when you put a spring underneath the clamp So there are also eight of these socket head cap screws. These are uh, 1032. So
So those go to the clamping pads and they're going to be eight brass ones and these were invented by Tosa Tool and they're customized for these Tosa Tool clamps and as you can see there's a nose the pointier end and that goes in front of the clamp so I'll show you how this works so that these socketed cap screws just thread right into the through the through the clamp and into the the clamping pad and there are also four of the 3D printed clamping pads. So these are pretty much the same thing as the brass clamping pads, but PLA instead of brass. And they're densely printed, so they should stay together pretty well. You're going to want to use these for wood or aluminum or any other soft material. And another thing with these clamping pads that mount on so they'll always stay with the clamps so they don't move around your table and you won't lose them so now let's put together a setup so let's use this modular vice jaw as our workpiece so put it where I, where I want it and then I'll put these threaded locating pins Thread them in a couple of the holes. And tighten them down. But not too tight. Um, and then I'm going to put one of these precision dowel pins into the half 13 or one of the half inch precision board holes and then I want to elevate this from the plate so I'll use these standoffs so I'll use the threaded ones to thread into the half 13 threaded holes and the other ones to sit in the half inch precision board holes and then I'll put that right on top and then now let's clamp it on. So for the first clamp, I'll use the four and a half inch clamp and I'll mount one of these flexible support feet onto a three inch stud. And then I'll screw that right into the bottom of the clamp. And then before I get too far, I should put one of these mounting pads onto the clamp. And if these holes are a little tight, you can just drill them out slightly and they should be pretty good. So screw these in. Okay, that should be good for that one. And that seems like a pretty good height. So now I'll put one of the jam nuts on it just to keep it in place. And then I'll use one of the four inch studs and I'll put another jam nut on this one to keep it onto the plate. So I'll tighten this one up. There we go. And now I'm going to put a spring on this. Let's see if I can get one out here. And this is a great time to use one of these washers. 
So I'm gonna put one on there and then one also between the flange nut and the clamp. And that should be pretty good for now. I can tighten it when I tighten the other one. So for this other one, I'm going to use one of the the longer six and a half inch clamp. I'll tighten these up. And then this part of it's going to be the same, but the other mounting part will not be. So I'll use that four inch stud again and then put a put one of these jam nuts on there and a washer and mount this to the plate. And then I'm going to put another spring on here and then use these washers again. Okay. And now I'm going to use a guided clamp support. So and put that on one of the three inch studs and thread that into the plate, but I'm going to use a jam nut to hold it there. So let's see if that's a good level for that. And it looks a bit high. So I'm actually going to take this jam nut off I should not use the jam nut. So that looks that looks like a pretty good height right there. So now make sure this is tied up against these locating pins and clamp it down. Tighten this one and then tighten these. And now it's really tight. So, so you're going to work on your piece and then when you're done, just loosen these nuts. And then you can just take your piece out, put another one right back in. And clamp it right back down. And there we go, it's tight again. So this gives you flexible options for production versus single jobs. So you can use what, what you want. So with production, with 100 parts, 
you, you you'll use lock nuts and springs, but with with just a single job, you don't need to use that stuff. So you can use a lot less hardware for that. So with all machining, you need to decide on clamping early. If it doesn't fit in a vise, it needs to be clamped down. And with clamping, you need rigidity because horsepower with rigidity makes for good machining. And this modular clamping kit is really the essence of modular fixturing. With it, you can use as many setups as you need, so you're always machining. We also sell all of these pieces individually if you don't want the entire 102 piece kit. So just call and ask for what you need. If you need other modular components that you don't see, submit your design to Tosa Tool today. If you need financing, it's available up to six months interest free through PayPal. Well, until next time, take care.